As part of the requirements, after completing the Walmart Auto Parcel Center model, you are supposed to create the join sheets. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you how to use the uh, sheets function in Revit and to generate some documentation to document your floor plan. And uh, also you will learn some tips how to prepare your design for documentation purposes. So to get started, let's take a look at the sheets which is in the project browser and let's right click here and click on new sheet this moment you will be looking at the available top blocks uh, in this project we only have size E1 which is uh, alternative size of E size joins so let's go ahead and click on load and scroll down all the way down here go to title blocks and you will see the A, B, C, D, E size joins listed here so as you see the diff uh, the relationship of the size A, B, C, D, E joins. Okay, so let's load all the other um, sizes. Actually, we need a, a C, D, E, uh, three different sizes of joins in this case. The reason being for that is that I'm not sure at this moment what size will be uh, suitable for this particular project. So let's go ahead and load those three. Okay, I'm going to start with the D size join. And if it's small, we can go to a different size. Okay, so click on OK. Now, this title block, okay, just like the plan grid joins, take a look at the plan grid join. This is also a title block. As you see here, the title block is where you put your project information, your owner information, your designers and contra contractors, the sheets number and sheets name, etc. Okay, so you can also record your revision number and dates here. Okay, so this is a title block. Uh, this title block is actually customizable. If you want to change its um, logos and actually specify the owners and the project names, you can just click and uh, um, edit and all that. Okay. So now, what I want to do is I'm trying to create a floor plan. Okay. Um, so the floor plan, finished floor plan, is actually located on pay, uh, on the view 01, the finished floor 00 there. So to place a view onto your join sheets to create a um, floor plan is as simple as your uh, right left click, okay, hold that view and uh, move your mouse, okay, on top of the title block and release the mouse and you will see, zoom out a little bit, you will see that a view has been, um, you know, grabbed from the project bar to here. As you see the little um, area here with a little box, it shows the area of the join you're going to um, place on this particular title block. In this case, we're looking at the size of the box is way too big than the title block. Okay, uh, so we're not going to place it here. Okay, so let's click on cancel uh, escape key uh, once. Now, what we're trying to do, if we look, take a look at our plan grid join, let's go to page A1.1. This floor plan only shows the floor plan for unit A. So obviously because of the building is so narrow and long, uh, so the doctors decided to actually to uh, separate the uh, building by its unit. So a page A1.1 only showcases the floor plan for units A1 through A8, okay? So we're going to do the same thing, okay? So how to prepare this is actually we're going to go back to our uh, Revit model. And uh, we're going to click, okay, left click on the finished floor plan and right click again and let's duplicate a view, okay, with the detailing because I still want to maintain those different dimensions, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So click on duplicate with detailing, okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to follow the same name as you see here, okay. So we use this name, floor plan units A1 through A8, okay. So right click and say rename and uh, change that name to floor plan A, A, A1 through A8, okay? So trying to make it consistent just like the way it is here, okay? And click on OK. Now, what? how do we prepare the join is, first thing is we want to only show unit A and hide the rest of the other parts of the building. In order to do so, we have to use a function we haven't really got a chance to introduce yet, which is called crop view, which is really located right here at the bottom of the, um, this is the status, uh, view status control bottom. Let's turn that on, crop view. 
And the, the next button adjacent to that is show crop region. So that will actually show, okay, what is the current cropped view range. So this box here is resizable. You can use this box, okay, to size how much information you want to show to the audience. In this case, I'm going to hide everything else other than just this little area of unit A. Okay, so now, not only just that, but also we want to prepare the join that we're going to show floor plan. So obviously in your floor plan, you would not see foundation. Okay, so we're going to hide the foundation component there. Uh, originally, the reason being we're actually able to see a foundation is because we changed our view range. So in that case, you can go ahead and go to your property palette and go to your view range, okay? And change that bottom back to associate levels below, okay? So that will actually remove all the foundation details there. I do not have much component here because I haven't really finished the model yet. You should have a much more uh, component here. But anyway, this is the way you prepare your joints. The reason being we make a copy of the original finished floor plan is we still want to have an overall floor plan. But this particular view we duplicated here is only for the joint sheets and documentation purposes. So you can control the different view settings, but the model component is still the same. So if you delete anything here in this view, it will be deleted any, everywhere in this model, okay? So don't delete anything. Uh, you want, we're not deleting the stretch component like a foundation. We just choose to not show them. So the view setting is different, okay, than deleting something. Now, with this being set up, you can resize the box so you're only really showing somewhere that has something for the empty space you want to keep that as less as possible, okay? So in this case, after you resize the whole window, what you can do is you can actually hide the crop region, okay? You maintain the crop view on because you still want to crop the extra um, views of the model out, but you want to hide this box because that's not looking good. So I'll click on that box and you can just turn off the um, the crop region. As you see here, okay, the view is still cropped, but the crop region is hidden. Now with this view, okay, you can do further editing. If you don't want, don't really want it to uh, show the colors, um, of this particular um, wall section here, what you can do is you can change its view style to something called hidden line. Okay, so that only give you a black and white color, and sometimes you don't even want to see okay the layers of the wall assembly. What you can do is you can change the detail level to coarse level, so that way it actually is going to hide all the different wall assembly details. Okay. So when you actually prepare your documentation for the full plan, make sure that you have the labels, okay? Have the labels, have the uh, dimensions, especially those essential dimensions. In this project, you're required to do two floor plan. One is the floor plan, the actual floor plan on, on finished floor zero zero, and as well as a framing plan, okay? So two views will be required uh, as documentation requirements in using uh, Autodesk Revit Sheets function. Okay, now with this view being prepared, how we actually uh, um, place this view onto our tile block is really simple. So let's go to our sheets and double click on A101 unnamed. So let's change its name, okay, of the sheet name to A, all right, 1.1, .1, okay, and the project name is going to be CM4 Walmart, okay. And the sheet's name is actually supposed to be floor plan, okay, A1 through A8, all right. So, of course, you can change its project number, issue dates, author, checker, etc., etc., but that, those are not essential to our project, obviously, okay. So, what we can do now is scroll up a little bit to your project browser and you find the view you just prepared, and again, left click the view and drag it through. Okay, uh, throw it towards the title block and release it. Now you see this crop region box showing up here, which is good size. Okay, it could be contained by this title block perfectly. Okay, now look at this little dimension line here. It tells this is the plan, a uh, full plan view name, and it's this is the scale one eighth inch equals one foot. If you wanted to reposition 
this dimension right here, what you can do is you can actually move, okay, the viewport, move by click on that and drag it, okay. However, if you want to um, change its size of the line here, you have to click well, actually the view itself to activate the bull doubts control so you can, okay, change the length of the line, okay. So then you can switch that to the center, all right. So any change you make on the original view, okay, it's going to be reflected here on the join sheets because they are in the dynamic, okay, linkage um, relationship. So if you delete anything on the other view, that same component will be deleted here and reflected here on the join sheet. So let me show you a little bit about customization of this title block. Let's say I wanted, okay, to um, change the logo of the company. Uh, what we have to do is we click on the title block and we click on edit family. So edit by going to edit family, the rabbit is actually allow you to customize your uh, other components of this whole title block. In this case, I want to delete this picture here and I'd like to download a Fresno State Bulldog um, uh, picture. So let's go to our um, Fresno State and search for Google image. Okay, so we're going to download this little Bulldog here and I'm going to save this to my desktop. Okay, and then you rub it. What I can do is actually going to, I'm going to insert a picture image. Go to my desktop. I'm going to choose this image here. And of course, the size of the image is going to be way too big, so they can resize those. Use control icon, uh, control button. Then you move your bulldog right here. After you finish that, you want to apply the change here to your project. So what you're going to do is you're going to click somewhere here says load into project okay and I want to overwrite the existing version because the top block has been loaded here but you want to update this parameter so you will say I will choose overwrite the existing version and its parameter values so that way you will have your bulldog title block done okay so this explains the process you need to take um, to create a join sheets using the sheets function in Autodesk Revit. So a little bit recap here. So when you actually prepare a view for um, generating uh, documentation purposes, its best practice is actually you'll duplicate the original view and change its view settings, such as you can change the level of detail, change its view style, as well as change the corp region. So after doing all those preparations, you will actually um, prepare the join in the way that is supposed to offer the best information to the uh, contractor and uh, your subcontractors to be able to um, build the um, component in the field.